Okay, now let's just go to the planning mode. For planning, we are normally uh, plan the route as we are doing previously on the charts from the waypoints to the legs. So in the egg disk, this is a G2 egg disk version G2, and we have to go to planning mode. On the side of the screen, on the right side, you can see there are three modes S mode, sailing mode, and there is a planning mode. So we have to pick up the planning mode, click the planning mode and we will get the window now uh, there's a two things root and user charts first I will tell you about the root in the root uh, there's a small window which is open here we can click a new new chart now in this you see the options here there's a option for the new root you can see you can give any name to the road which you are making example voyage 65 from Fujaira to Karachi whatever you want to put you can put the name here then you can start editing the waypoints there are two options for doing that firstly you can add waypoint from here On the left side of the screen you can see a, a small tab that is an add waypoint tab you can click and add the waypoint manually Another thing is, if you want to add it by the cursor, you can do it by pressing a tab, edit, which is at the bottom of the screen, you can see next to the ERBL, edit. I'm going to edit now. Okay. Now my cursor is uh, on the screen, you can see. I just have to do only a one click, click. You can see uh, the waypoint where I have clicked, the latitude and longitude are now showing here on the left side, waypoint number one and the latitude and longitude, you can see. And we can, if you want to add, you can simply click and click and click. That's it. And you can get all the waypoints here. Then when you finish this, you can edit, you can click save save button is right on the top of this small window next to the close button you can save it now this is saved but uh, normally we are doing we have to edit the waypoints because the minutes are like 0 0.5 0 0.6 minutes if you want to adjust the position of and you can do it by clicking here and then editing you can edit here only can put can delete this one my pocket so coming chat yeah as you can see now i have already clicked and deleted this point i'm going to going to put a zero and zero whatever now you can see we have adjusted the digit as as whatever I like so like this you can adjust you have always save you can enter you have to enter this and this position has come now as a green and a blue and the waypoint one has changed its position so this is a two methods by which you can add a waypoint and make a simple passage now the thing came as per the company procedures uh, we have to initially check the route for the safety depth, safety, safety count too. So these are the things on which we have to check the route, whether the route is safe or not. So this should be done initially when you are going to start on a route, you have to do it initially before starting the route. For that, I am coming to a window here. Again, you have to come to the uh, check waypoint now. You have to come to the checkpoint, which is down on the screen and third button. You can see check. Okay. Then you uh, come here. You put the safety depth accordingly. Your draft, your settings. Okay. Now the value of the safety depth and safety contours can be calculated as per the company procedure, which is laid down in the newly revised manual and uh, 
from the from there you can calculate the safety depth and safety contour safety contour is whenever you are putting the safety contour the this is going to take the next higher if we are putting 10 and there is no contour for the 10 then it is definitely going to take the next higher which may be 1 5 so the check root if you kill check root the this is going to check on the basis of the next higher contour so now you have calculated the safety depth, safety counter, edit, insert the both the values, your air draft as per your draft, and then you have to check root. I'm pressing the tab check root. As you can see, the whole uh, function has been completed. The this has calculated, this has checked, and it found the safe. As you can see on the top, the second line you can see check state it is showing safe and green it means that the root is safe and as and it is safe as per the procedures whatever you have set now as you can see it's, it's, it's the status is showing is safe but in cases if there it is showing unsafe then as you can see down i'm going to take you down as you can see there are three waypoints showing here and at the end there is a safety check we are showing green 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 so if the root is not safe at any point of time it will show a red color over here so that you can know that okay now this waypoint is showing red so there is a problem in this waypoint I am going to show you I uh, have been creating uh, one changing the waypoint and I will show you how it is showing uh, red Mm. Now, uh, now I'm going to show you how to edit the waypoints or how to add the waypoint. Firstly, as you can see, the waypoint one, two, three is there. Simply go and click right. You can see a pop-up window has shown up. Then you just have to either insert before, insert after, delete, copy, paste, details of the waypoint. Everything is showing over here. Now I'm at waypoint number one. I just want to insert another waypoint before. I click the before. I'm going to click the edit. As you can see, there's a there's a two waypoints are showing over there. Waypoint one, waypoint two. I'm simply going to click and drag this. I'm going to drag it in a unsafe zone, as you can see. Now, now you are preparing the plan, and it is showing a red, as you can see over there. The markings, your depths are coming in a square red and it is popping up and it's showing that this is a wrong. As you can see, there is a, a red flashing light is coming over the your waypoint. These are the depths or safety counters which you have set for this route is lesser is lesser than what you have set for this route. Now I'm going to leave it like this and again I'm going to save it and then I'm going to check check now as you can see they are showing dangers and obviously I have put it in the unsafe zone it is showing dangers now I have to check which area is a dangerous area I'm going again over there now as you can see the red dot over here it is showing that at the bay point one the dangers are at bay point one. And you can see from bay point one to bay point two there is a danger. So it is showing at that waypoint number two, the red. So if there are a lot of uh, waypoints like 50, 60, 100 waypoints, it is very easy to check which waypoint is showing a red, which waypoint you are not complying the rules, and which waypoint is creating a problem. This is for the root. Now normally in the charts, we people are doing a lot of things except the except planning, except the waypoint and except the routes. We are doing we are entering a lot of things like bridge watch level, like we are entering the position fixing intervals, calling master, lot of things we are inserting. So for that we also can insert in this egg disk. This for this we have to go to the user charts 
as I've initially told you, there are two tabs, root and user chart. So in user chart, I'm going to click the user chart and the things will change. Now this is a user chart. Here you can you can see there are there's the two tabs new and load and there's a name. So in that bar you can define the name like if you are now creating a this user chart is actually a extra chart which you are going to superimpose on the on the egg disk. As a, as a new chart, as a new layer of the information which are, you are going to, going to impose, you are going to put it on the egg disk, previous chart. So the thing is that now you are going to make a one layer, a new layer, a new chart, to define a name. Now if you are going from a voyage, as I have already told you, if you are going to voyage like from Fujaira to Karachi, you have already prepared a plan, you have already made everything. Now, you're going to insert a new layer. This is layer is your user information which you are going to give to your officers, for you, for the master, for everyone. You're going to put a new layer. So I'm just going to uh, put the new name here. Like suppose, uh, Uchaira to Karachi. Now this. I have put the name, I have given a name to a new chart which I am going to make. So this chart can be saved for forever. This chart can be saved forever. Whenever you are going from Fujaira to Karachi, just click the chart, the information will be over it. It's that simple. Now if I come down, there are symbols, there is a one window and the left of the corner, symbols. In which it is showing point, there are a lot of points you can see a lot of then you can see line <laughs> then there are circles then there are areas then there are text all these uh, all these symbols points all these things can be used like if I'm going to put a circle I have to define some area there is the area is not okay okay so I can choose four things the way I want to show like click the required and then click on the on the chart then you can see here it's a circle has already come you can alter his distance radius you can do you can alter its position from here to here now if I want to finish click finish now you as you can see this circle is already formed here as per your desired radius even now you can shift it from place to place and you click hmm. as you can this this uh, small circle has been formed as per desired radius and now if you want to put a text next to it what you have to do simply this Okay, now if you want to put a text next to it, you just simply have to go click text, the button, then you write the text whatever you want. Suppose it's a dangerous area, no go area, I'll put no go area, easy to write. As I put the no go area, I'm going to click here. Now, as you can see, it is showing no go area over here. You can adjust this. Okay, you can adjust up and down wherever you want. You have to adjust the position as per your chart, your waypoints, and then click save. Once you click save, the this is small area, this is small, a new chart, a new layer has been saved in the voyage name Fujaira to Karachi. You can add as many as you want as many as you want you can add okay now as you can see that we have already created a plan and we have created a route and we have also created just we have shown you a small one one layer which we have uh, made on the user chart now I'm going to show you how to load the chart and how to link 
the user charge to the load plan as you can see I have coming up in at the same window from the selling mode I have come to the planning mode again as you can see the same window here now I have shown you the root user charge the new the one more tab it's a load tab now you can go you can when you click then it's all a, all the plans which you have previously made is come here I'm going to select one to just to show you hmm. now for example I'm going to take the watch 64B Fujaira to Bahrain which I have created previously I have selected the whole route is now on the chart as you can see this for Bahrain we have already linked a user charts but I want to show you how to link a user chart in the same tab line you can see the last one there is a link user chart so click it now these are all the user charts which we have already made as we have made I have shown you a small Fujaira to Karachi now you can see here all the charts has come and this is 64B notes you can see a tick here 64B click and that's it now you have what you have did is now as you can see I have already clicked the 64B and then I'm going to save it by, by first we have to uh, close the window and then you have to save it finish now now when after saving what has happened is that the voyage 64b has been linked to the user chart 64b notes which you already made and now you can see as you can see I'm going to show you the bigger screen you can see the VRA exit 26 north information master note down position the line the small small things you can see here the the information which we have put the hair information, the PIs, everything, these all you can make through a user chart by by their dif different of different things, line, position, text, area, whatever is there. You can use it to make these user, user informations and you can link and then you can show it on the screen at the time when you are navigating.